Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see here, I have a Aquatech um, pressure booster pump, CDP 6800. You guys may know that I have a series of um, videos regarding my uh, aquatic life RO buddy, where I, um, I've made modifications and added a this booster pump um, to increase efficiency, lower TDS output, and um, you know, just basically increase its efficiency. But um, I came upon a, a uh, how can I say this? I came upon a malfunction, um, and I, mean, I just like to talk about it. So you may know that. Um, in my previous update videos, I have bought two pumps. Initially, I bought a um, Aquatic Aquatic Tech CDP eighty eight hundred, and then I found I found that it was too strong, and that um, you know it was causing that it didn't not causing, but I didn't really need that much pressure, and that the lowest the lowest setting was just right about like um, it got me to 80 psi's so I decided to get a smaller unit which is this CDP 6800 and this one was just right and I mentioned that in my update video well I want to give you an update on it because like I said you know I've used it for a few months now, and I use it almost every week. Every week I generate about 50 gallons of RO water, and I use the pressure pump, the booster pump to, to accomplish that, right? Um, this pump started to malfunction on me. Um, and how do I know? So the last few, maybe the last four weeks maybe while I was making um oh please excuse my um my air conditioner unit it's ejecting um water down the sink but um let me get back to the topic four weeks ago I've noticed that I could, the pressure on my RO unit and let me just show it to you real quick this pressure gauge was showing me that um it was dropping below the setting that I had set it on, which was about 85 PSIs, right? And it was starting to decrease down to about 80, right? At first, I thought, you know, and the sediment filter was really brown. So I decided, okay, maybe that's, you know, that's probably one of the issues, right? So I changed out the sediment filter and I ran the unit again, and again, the PSI was just barely making 80 PSI. So the next thing was to switch out both those carbon blocks. So I, I, I basically replaced the two carbon blocks there, and I get, put in fresh um, carbon blocks. And so there's really nothing else that should be causing that problem. So after I did that, I ran, I created um, RO water again. And again, the PSI barely, barely, in fact, it even dropped below 80 PSIs on the gauge. So, and I can hear, I can hear the pump making this rattling noise, this, this clicking noise as though it just, some like something broke or, something um it's not catching but but basically this pump um was no longer producing the pressure needed and so like i said luckily i bought an 8800 and i replaced it so now i have the 8800 um running this unit and now that i think about it you know and been using this pump, I think it's better to um, 
get the 8800 for my needs um, because as soon as I put the 8800 in I was able to dial in um, 85 PSIs and if I needed more I could probably have you know dial in even more so I think having more is better than having um, just right and not enough um, additional overhead if I needed to if that makes sense um, but I just wanted to let everybody know that I had I have I've now switched out um, my booster pump from the 6800 the CDP 6800 to the CDP 8800 and um, I think I'm gonna go get another CDP 8800 and just keep it around just in case these things malfunction because I only had this pump for maybe a few months and it's our and it's malfunctioning so um, yeah it I think you know people call me nuts but you know when you when things break it's always good to have another one handy right and in this case I was lucky I had another one handy but I will not be getting the 6800 I will be getting the 8800 and spend the extra what $20 or $30 for the the higher pressure pressure pump so I'm going to do that um, so yeah this is my update on um, my RO just wanted to let you guys know okay check your eyes out next time bye